season is right here around the corner. We got some preseason matchups that's been happening. People were starving for football because they hype about preseason games. But yep. above all of that, I got some teams I cannot wait to watch. There's a couple of them out here I'm just very much anticipating. So to me, my team is the Chiefs. I can't wait to watch the Chiefs. Chiefs. They're not my team is like, oh, I'm a fan, all of that stuff, whatever. But I'm just very interested in the Chiefs this upcoming season because clearly they got some weapons. They got some new receivers over there. Xavier Worthy, Rashid Weiss, uh, Marquise Brown. Like they got some guys who can catch the football and really turn these plays up big from six yards up until 30. And we've seen Pat Mahomes win a ring with garbage on his team as receiving options. So I'm just kind of curious if it'll go back to like an air raid type of offense, if they're going to really be putting it in the air, letting it fly, or is they going to stick with Isaiah Pacheco, run the ball? So I'm super curious about what the Chiefs are going to do this season. Obviously, we know the whole three-peat thing is a big conversation as well, but, you know, I'm curious about that personnel. But I want to know, even if it is the Chiefs, What's that team that you just like you can't wait to see what they do this upcoming season? I gotta say my hometown Detroit Lions. The Detroit Lions. 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 Yes, last year we were so close in the NFC title game. Sally blew that 24 to 7 lead against the 49ers, but I believe the Lions got the toolbox to get back there. And this might be a big take, but I think Sam Laporte already might be the best current tight end this uh this upcoming season, especially getting praise from one of the GOAT Titans, arguably the GOAT Titan, and Travis Kelsey saying how much he liked Sam Laporte's game. And from what I heard in training camp, I'm saying J Mo could have a big breakout year again too. So I'm saying the Lions are gonna be about 12 and 5, 13 and 4 type tier team. We do have a tough division. I know I know you make that face. But that, I believe we're going to win the NFC North again, but it's going to be tough. Jordan Love obviously played amazing those last eight games. That's why he got that big contract. Me and you spoke about Caleb Williams. I think he's going to be fantastic. And a lot of people sleep. J.J. McCarthy, reigning national champion from Michigan. You give him J Justin Jefferson and the weapons like Addison around him, Minnesota don't sleep on them. They could potentially make a run. So we'll be tough, but Lions are the team I'm extremely excited about. Okay, so I got to tell you, I'm one of the people, I am snoring on J.J. McCarthy right now. I am snoring, bro. I, I'm catching Z's all over J.J. McCarthy because I just don't think that he's hot stuff like the media made him. Because when I looked at that Michigan team, at least, I seen so much talent around him. And it was just, it, to me, if I swap J.J. McCarthy with any other quarterback, like they still win. They still, it's not like, oh, Michigan won a natty because of what J.J. McCarthy was doing. He just so happened to be a quarterback who was playing around a lot of skill guys. And obviously, you know, that makes a difference in all of that. But above all, I, I'm snoring on J.J. McCarthy. But I want to go back to what you said uh, about the Lions because <laughs> I, I'm kind of excited to watch the Lions too. I, and I think it'll be some good stuff. And I think this is one of the seasons where people really, really catch on. If you missed last year and you wasn't really paying attention last year to how great of a receiving core the Lions have, this is going to be the year where you realize, like, damn, how did they get so many dogs on this team? And the answer to everybody is going to be they drafted them. <laughs> it's that yeah. simple. They drafted them. They were intelligent in the draft. They were patient and they took the correct guy. So I think the Lions can definitely make some noise. As far as the NFC North, it's going to be tough. You know it's going to be tough because Green Bay is there. And I'm rocking a hat right now. <laughs> the Chicago Bears is going to be in the mix. I ain't saying they about to be champions of that division, but they're going to be in the mix for sure. I, I, I got I to gotta at least give them 11 games. 11 games. I'm on record saying it, and I'll say it again. 11 games. So I don't know how that's going to work out with the Lions winning the division and all that, but I'm going at least 11 games. What's your thoughts on that? So I told you over the weekend, I said 10 and 7. I think they do increase mm. by three wins. After having Justin Fields and he was able to get, you know, a lot of games, wasn't his fault. A lot of people put the blame on him, but now you're getting a guy who's more accurate in Caleb Williams, in my opinion, with the weapons they got, DJ Moore, Killian, uh, Keenan Allen, I mean, it's going to be it's going to be very interesting. And I think the Bears are going to be good. But those division games are always tough, even for the Lions. Like we've lost a consecutive seven straight Thanksgiving Day game. So mm. one thing, the reason why I bring that up about the Lions is because we're always playing the division rival. So that could be one loss that could be in the mix. But 
I, I think we're going to get it done this year. Looking at the schedule, looking at all the weapons around golf, we might have the best receiving core in the league with St. Brown out there who got snubbed last year. I know he ended up making That's the pro. It wasn't a first option. So I think with the numbers and as far as golf can making smarter decisions with the ball, I believe we'll be there. I believe we're actually going to beat your Bears twice this year. I believe it's going twice. to be close <laughs> I don't. I know that might be a big take, but I think it's going to be close touchdown games like 28-20. 21. But I think the Lions got a point to prove. They really want that Super Bowl. And they were right there last year before we choked in that second half. So so here's the thing. And, you know, Bears, they they might definitely it, – it, it's going to be close. It's going to be close. I, I agree with that part. And, and maybe the Lions will win both games. But I remember last year, Bears had the game in the bag. If you remember that game, I think it was in Detroit as well. They had the game in the bag. They were up, what, like 24 to, to 10 or something like that, most of the game. And then fourth quarter came along. Bears just blew the lead. They wasn't playing defense. The offense was not running the ball. They were just stagnant over and over again. And then eventually they kept giving the Lions opportunity. Lions win. So that gives me hope. That's why I say, oh, the Bears are going to at least win 11 games because there was multiple situations where that was the case for the Chicago Bears last season. And I'm like, as long as they can close out games, they can continue to, to score the ball and, and stay on top of a lead when they actually have a lead, they'll be all right. But as far as the Lions getting back all the way to the Super Bowl, getting there this time, man, it's tough because... Everybody is going to be healthy. Everybody's getting a little bit better. And usually I'll, I'm always on the side of, okay, well, the AFC has the better conference. But as far as now, it's it's kind of neck and neck everywhere you look in the NFC right now. I mean, in our division, obviously, you know, you got some competition with the Packers. The Bears are somewhat on a come up. I wouldn't put them as a, a playoff threat as of right now. But the 49ers still sitting with the same team that they had. And they on the same mission as well. Because they've been there multiple years and they've never been able to get it done. So, you know, I, I think it'll be good for the Bears or I think it'll be good for the Lions. I'm hoping to see them have some success. And, and I would love to personally see them go all the way to the Super Bowl this time and actually make something happen. But let's switch gears.